Good morning, friends. How are you this morning? I thought we would start the morning with our morning song. So you can join me and we clap the first part and then we share our hands and open our hands to our friends in the second verse. So let's go ahead and sing. Good morning, good morning. How do you do? Good morning, good morning. I'm fine, how about you? And how about you? How are you this morning? I hope you're having a wonderful morning. I woke up and it was very frosty outside. The ground had frozen and so I'm so glad that I didn't put my garden in because my garden would have frozen. So I have all my little plants in the house ready to go in the garden. And when I plant my garden, I'll share it with you and I'll show you what we've done. So we're just gonna read a story and do calendar this morning. I have a little bit of a hoarse voice. I need to have a little drink there. Okay, so we'll start with our calendar. We are in the month of May. And May is the fifth month. It is the fifth month of the year. So we have had January and we have had February, February, and we have had March and we have had April and now we have May. So that is five months so far in the year. And we have our little calendar here and it is Thursday, May 7th. So we're still way up here in the month. We still have a lot left to go. So let's go ahead and count our calendar days up to seven and then we'll count backwards from seven back to one. Ready? I want you to get your pointy finger out, wiggle it around, exercise that pointy finger, get it ready to go. All right, now some of you need to use the pointy finger and some of you know the numbers and don't have to use the pointy finger, but we're gonna touch them and go one to one for each number. So each number we say, we're gonna to touch that box. So let's start together. It is May, Thursday, the 7th, 2020 or 2020. You ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Ready to count backwards from seven? So we'll say seven first. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That's right. Good job. A nice job counting. I'll put the calendar back on my sofa. And we will share a lovely little story this morning. So I have a um, sweet little story about friendship. And in our last Zoom meeting, we talked about starting kindergarten in the fall and how we're almost done with pre-K. It's kind of a big deal. You are kind of a big deal. So I have a book about friendship because when you start kindergarten, you're not gonna be with the exact same kids. You'll have all of your friends in kindergarten with you, but they may be in different kindergarten classes and new kids will come to school that you don't know. So you'll have a chance to make new friends and still have your old friends with you. We can have more than one friend. We can have more than one best friend. I have a best friend in every state I've lived in. I have a best friend and that is three states. I have best friends in California and in Idaho and in Pennsylvania. And you know what? I work in West Virginia and I have a best friend in West Virginia too. So I have best friends in every state that I've worked and lived in and you can have more than one best friend. So this story is called Jessica's Box. And I think Jessica is going to start a new school and I wonder what's going to happen. So Jessica's Box was written by Peter Carnavas, or Carnavas, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it is K -K C Carnavas. And the name of the book is Jessica's, and then you know this one, B -B Box. Jessica's Box. And there is sweet little Jessica on the front, and she has a box in her lap. Oh my goodness, she also has a bird on her head and a dog sitting beside her. She looks like a fun girl to know. Jessica's box, and when we open it up on the inside, there's just a picture 
with Jessica and her box. And here on the inside is the title page, and it's the little bird looking inside of Jessica's box. Jessica's mind was too busy to sleep. Her thoughts were already with tomorrow. So she is laying in bed and she is thinking about tomorrow. And when tomorrow came, everyone was excited. I remember my first day, uh, said Grandpa. You'll have such a great time, said Dad. You're gonna make so many friends, said Mom. And there they are getting her ready for her first day. Plenty of friends, thought Jessica. She was gonna make sure of that. She was gonna make plenty of friends. And she's sitting in her chair and she's holding her box. At first, nobody noticed her. They were playing with their own friends, people that they already knew from pre-K. But by lunchtime, a crowd of curious children had gathered. Jessica reached into her box. They're wondering, what is in your box? Ta-da, she said, and she pulled out her teddy bear. Some children laughed. Some children tried not to. Others just walked away and they weren't laughing at her nicely. How do you think that made her feel? What's so good about a stuffed bear? Said a little boy. Lots of things, said Jessica. She thought of all the things that were good about a stuffed bear. Lots of things, she said, as she sat all alone with her bear on her box. Jessica told mom about her horrible lunchtime and how she didn't make any friends at all. You'll just have to try something else, said her mom. She's sharing with her mom. Her mom is doing yoga and she's just sitting there with her legs up on her box. So after thinking it over with Doris, Jessica did try something new. So she is hatching a new plan. What is Jessica doing? Well, let's find out. Cupcakes, what a marvelous idea. Hungry hands scooped them up just as quickly and they disappeared. Everybody was so excited about those cupcakes. And then they all ran off. And no one even said thank you. And Jessica was left sitting all alone. Those kids are not being very friendly, are they? They're not being very kind. Jessica and Doris thought even harder this time. Doris is her little puppy dog. As Doris cleaned up the crumbs from the box, a clever idea crept into Jessica's head. So she's thinking, thinking, playing in the sand and Doris is cleaning up the crumbs. And then Jessica thinks of something. I wonder what? What's her name? She's beautiful. Can I have a pat? Everybody wanted to talk to Jessica and it was wonderful. What did Jessica bring to school the next day in her box? What is that? She took Doris with her. But it didn't last long. Within minutes, the groundskeeper arrived on his uh, lawnmower. You can't bring that dog to school, he said. And he snatched Doris away from her and he drove Doris home on his lawnmower.
It was dad's turn to talk to Jessica that night. They didn't say very much. We just sat together and looked at the moon. And Jessica was feeling very sad. I think her dad just knew that she just needed him to hang out with her and just be her friend. The next day, Jessica didn't put anything in her box. She just wanted to disappear. So she went to school and she put her box over her head so she would disappear. And she put herself in her box. And she sat, and she sat, and she sat. And a little boy walked up to her. And he said, I found you. What? Jessica appeared out of the box. Now you have to find me, said the little boy. Count to 10. What? Jessica wondered for a moment, had she made a friend? There was only one thing to do. So she counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What are they playing? They played hide and seek together. At home that night, the family was so happy to hear about Jessica's new friend. Grandpa leaned in close to her and he said, you must have had something very special in your box today. What did she have in her box? It was Jessica herself. Jessica said, I sure did. And then she left her box on her floor in the bedroom and Doris went in and fell asleep. And that is the end of our story, Jessica's box. I thought that was a very sweet story about friendship and it's something that we need to think about now as we prepare ourselves for kindergarten and we prepare to make new friends. It's gonna be a very exciting time for you. So that's all for Circle Time today. Um, I had a great time with you. Tomorrow we'll have a Zoom meeting together and um, remember we're thinking about two things for tomorrow. We're thinking about one of our favorite things that happened in pre-K, one of our favorite memories and we're thinking about one of the most exciting things we're looking forward to doing in kindergarten. I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you all.